we start with uh, several sort of first line medications because they're lacking dopamine. We, we cannot give them dopamine. The dopamine is not going to help in these situations, but uh, we put them on uh, dopamine agonists. And there are many of them. And uh, we just choose one of these uh, medications. So, um, then uh, we also uh, treat them with uh, um, medications which are called a MAO inhibitors. They that help um, dopamine and serotonin not to be destroyed. We usually put them on uh, uh, vitamin B6 because this is a cofactor for um, this enzyme AADC. Um, and also we try to treat them symptomatically. For example, these children, when they have this dystonic crisis, uh, we try to treat them with uh, Valium, um, just, and it helps sometimes. Um, and then uh, after that, we try to find some other combinations of uh, medications. We try to help them with sleep, we sometimes um, use uh, some serotonin enhancing medications, but this is not a cure by any means. This can only help with this, some of these symptoms, but that's not going to change overall the trajectory of their illness. Well, there is a hope for these patients. Um, there is gene therapy that's being developed. And that's why it is so necessary to raise awareness about this condition, because we believe that many children are misdiagnosed, you know, like they really present very early. And the mean age of diagnosis is between three and four years of age. So many patients remain misdiagnosed with something else, with some other conditions such as cerebral palsies and epilepsies. And so it would be very important to, uh, to raise awareness about this condition and to have these children and these patients diagnosed.